Insta Baby, yeah, you know I'm in my body day Hit that bitch, told her come through on a Saturday Run it up, run it up, baby, you the fast away Greatness come with patience, so you know that I had a way Ooh wee, baby, yeah, you know what you do to me and you know Okay, so if you don't know, um Big Ben is actually probably going to be likely out for this Sunday because he's been placed on the COVID IR. So I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know um, what the balance is for him playing on Sunday, but I know he's going to miss significant time at practice. He's going to be a really, he, oh man, the Steelers are currently 9-0 and right now and they have, they've been so fortunate not to be hit with like COVID or any injuries really they've been pretty much skirting by they've had pretty much no adversity the most adversity they had is just not being able to have a bye week but honestly that doesn't even really matter that much because they're going to have a r pretty easy schedule i would say do not sleep on the Bengals though i feel like the Bengals are a low-key dark horse team to upset any like really good team but Big Ben, this is going to be a real detriment because I do not believe in Mason Rudolph, honestly. Mason Rudolph is not the guy to um, come in and fill in for a whole game for Big Ben if he can't play. Now, uh, Matthew Stafford was also, if you don't recall, Matthew Stafford last week was also uh, placed on COVID IR for the entire week. And he finally got passed to be able to play on the day of the game. So what that pretty much meant is that he didn't practice all week, but he showed up and played for the game. Now, the Steelers could do that, but there will be so many repercussions of that. Um, I don't know how ready Big Ben would be, and they're definitely not going to bench a Big Ben during the game. So I'm, I'm really not sure how this is going to work out for the Steelers this week, but it's going to be a really tough pill to overcome. But it's not going to be that bad because they're only playing the Bengals. And I, I don't think that the Bengals are that big of a a team where they really need Big Ben to play. Or they really need Big Ben to, to really practice all week. I feel like they should be the favorites even without Big Ben. Because Big Ben pretty much isn't like a super great quarterback anymore at all. He's just a guy. He's more of a glue guy type of guy. Where you know he won't do anything wrong. He's going to um, really piece the offense together. The guy, the real stars of the offense are the wide receiving core. And Chase Claypool, J Juju, Deontay Johnson, and that defense. That is the real stars of, of that, that team. And I don't really think they need it that much. But again, the Bengals are a dark horse team to upset any really good team. And I'm not just saying that because they beat the Titans. I really think that the Bengals have a lot of pieces where they could beat a, a team that's not really expecting them to do much in that game. I feel like Jesse Bates is really good. Uh, Joe Burrow, definitely rookie year candidate. They have jo Joe Mixon. Their offensive line got so much better um, in one week. It really did. They literally allow like no sacks. So I'm really excited to see what they're going to do now. Honestly, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to start Joe Burrow or I'm going to start Carson Wentz right now because that no sack performance by the O-line is really, really impressive. But I'm not sure how long that will last, especially against the best defense in the league. Yes, you heard me, the best defense in the league. I don't really know how long that's going to last. So I'm just going to leave it up to the goat nick ercolano man but honestly he he should be fine the steelers are going to be fine they're not there's no reason to panic okay wow vance mcdonald got got covid cool oh my goodness like he took like two snaps like it's not going to be that bad it's not going to be horrible the Steelers will survive. They'll probably be 10 to 0, honestly. If anything, this will literally like rally, rally the the rest of the team. And they'll play even better without him, honestly. Now, I don't know about Mason Rudolph. I mean, Mason Rudolph may play a little bit uh, off or worse than Ben. But come on, it's Ben Roethlisberger. He's getting up there in age. 
I'm not really sure how effective Ben Roethlisberger is on any other team that's not the Steelers, uh, especially in like a pass-heavy offense. Like, I, I have faith in in Ben Roethlisberger, but like, no, Ben Roethlisberger honestly just isn't the type of guy where I would say he's on a, a high level tier of quarterbacking. He's just the glue guy to me. And he's super old, but he's also a mobile liability. So also, uh, don't expect Mason Roth to just stay in the pocket all the time. He's a little younger. He's got some uh, some better wheels than Ben. So I, I figure he can move. The only thing is, Ben is a lot tougher. So he does move and does take a lot of big hits outside of the pocket when he doesn't have to, just to put the light, his life on the line, put his team over the edge. And I really like that about Ben. So they're really going to be missing a key asset. And it is the quarterback after all, even though that may not be the strong suit of their team, which is a really good thing, honestly, which is why I still have the Steelers the favorite because their quarterback isn't the strong suit of their team. And the quarterback is still a good quarterback. So the Steelers, they're, they're going to obviously be a little bit worse on the offensive side. But if anything, that will just enable the defense to really shut stuff down i mean don't don't expect the steelers to have a freebie honestly but i still expect the steelers to win i still expect a really good performance from the d defense the d line uh the wide receivers may take a hit i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend starting uh deontay johnson guys like that uh chase claypool juju i wouldn't really start them but after all it's Mason Rudolph, the guy that infamously got hit in the head by Miles Garrett. I honestly wouldn't even uh, trust Mason Rudolph with any of one of my receivers. So definitely all those guys are definitely a sit right now. Hands down, I wouldn't even trust it at all. Not at all. I'm not trusting that at all. So yeah, Big Ben is just not going to be um a playable factor if he's on your fantasy team i i honestly don't even i i wouldn't recommend starting because even if he plays he's gonna have a full he's gonna be playing with no practice like not even a day of practice not even in the facility just learning on zoom so and installing on zoom so because of that i'm gonna have to give all the wide receivers for the steelers a bench i'm gonna have to sit them this week and i'll have to sit big ben but there is a pro from this james connor i'm gonna have to start him hands down the, the guy's gonna get a ton of touches so that that's one positive but yeah what do you guys think i i honestly think that they're they're gonna still be a pretty good team without Big Ben. He's not going to have that much of a detriment, but I still think that the Bengals have a chance to upset the Steelers without Big Ben. I'm working, and bitch, I am back in my Birkin. All the guys, I'm swerving, and these people be plotting and murking.